Hey everybody, uh, time for another episode of Path of Exile and uh, Descent League. And today we are doing the Templar, which is, uh, he's kind of waddling awkwardly, but anyways. Uh, history, he's a strength intelligence hybrid character, so you can go for uh, some mana nodes and some elemental damage stuff. He gets a lot of early access mana nodes. Of course he's not going to be as good as the witch at, at mana and spell casting, but he's got a lot of great stuff for that. Or you could do melee, which usually is like spell casting melee, which is actually kind of interesting. But the great, one of his greatest strengths, though, is he has a, a lot of early access to a lot of great life nodes here. Some of these are really good, and also some weapon elemental stuff. And he also happens to be just like a little bit south is the Marauder Shoe with the with the uh, Marauder uh, uh, survivability passive. So it's arguable that you know he he shares a lot of the same uh, the same survivability attributes as uh, the Marauder does. Uh, so. Last time I did a duelist, which is basically um, a two-hander, uh, well, double one-handed weapon. So today I'm going to roll with a shield and uh, and and a mace, and we're going to use uh, a couple of abilities. One is going to be called Glacial Hammer, and the other one is going to be our AOE, and that one is going to be Ice Nova. So Ice Nova is usually uh, um, this is our AOE ability. So the closer it is something something is to me, uh, the more damage I'll do. And then if I use Glacial Hammer, I'll uh, I'll hit them with a freezing attack, which it really works out for me. And I got an Iron Ring actually really early on. That's actually quite nice. And a Coral Ring. Wow. Okay, this game is just kind of handing me uh, some actually fairly decent starting items. Uh, so the Iron Ring is going to give me uh, 1 to 4 physical damage, and the uh, Coral Ring is going to give me a bit of... Uh, uh, life right there. And so basically I can just kind of one hit these guys with just like this glacial attack that you see. It's actually kind of nice. Um, and and the great thing actually I really like about have, being a Templar is that uh, you start off with energy shield and armor. Which means you will not be trying to dodge damage but you'll take it and you'll take it first to your armor and then you'll you'll negate some of the damage there. And then you'll uh, it would seem my god has no need for my company just yet. Okay, we're gonna go to melee damage because that's an early access into some uh, some interesting. I, I just want to do like elemental uh, physical damage, basically. That's my plan, essentially. I haven't really planned this one out. I don't play a whole lot of this class, but uh, I think it's I think it's absolutely really a lot of fun. And it's surprising because I'm actually doing much better than I was when I did my uh, witch. He's a spellcaster too. I think the, the the abilities that this guy starts with are just like insanely good. You just can't pass them up. So you know, I basically just find a nice large group of them, and if I crit, I freeze them all. That's actually really insane. His starting abilities, I, I do have to say. Um. But anyways, uh, so yeah, so you're not evading any damage, and you got a shield, so you have actually probably a lot of protection. A lot more than you could probably ever ask for. I'm just gonna kill some of these guys. Like, I'm actually, I'm actually kind of surprised at the amount of, uh, damage I'm just dishing out. Alright, let's get some more, uh, linked sockets there. And, oop, Iron Grave. So I now have, like, full armor, like, except for the belt. And the belt, I'll probably want something, uh, either with physical or, uh, the chain belt, you know. I'm still gonna try and run those Quicksilver Flasks, even though last time, probably, I didn't, I didn't really get a lucky roll with respect to the, uh, the medium life flasks. Like, uh, I, I really kind of needed some, but I, I don't think I really got any. It's not worth my time. I'm just gonna keep doing the Freezing Nova. Who's spawning you? Oh, no one is. He's actually really quite good. So, like, what you what you lack in damage, you make up for in this, like, with these weapon elemental attacks. So, like, I, I, I'm not doing too badly. Of course, you know, DPS-wise, I'll never be as good as the uh, duelist. My prayers are thus answered. Alright, so we got wool shoes and a simple robe. Uh, we'll identify them both. This one gives life, we'll use that. This one gives more energy shield, we'll use that, because we are an energy shield class after all. And we are going to get the alluring chest, because that has my quicksilvers. Uh, and which we'll do... 
this for now. I don't know how I'm going to switch it up later. Oh, we did get to level up too. Wow, I got like two level 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 ups in this area. So let's go uh, put a point into more physical damage, which will raise our DPS a little bit. Because uh, his main glacial attack hammer, uh, uh, it uh, it does use my weapon physical damage there. So okay, you know what? These guys are not worth my time. So I'm gonna just freeze the fuck out of them. I really don't like this this cold damage I keep receiving. Or or wait, I think that's actually fire damage. I, I don't even know, but either way, it's scary as fuck. So all I'm just gonna do is I'm gonna, for, at least for the beginning levels here, I'm just gonna kind of just hump in the middle of these guys, take this Paula amulet, and uh, that's gonna give me uh, some more am uh, mana regeneration, which is also really nice. That's kind of the nice thing about these hybrid classes. Uh oh, no, 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 kind of back off. Uh, just uh, freeze these bone guys. Fortunately, I do get a chance to miss whenever I uh, swing my little axe here, so. That's fine. You know, it's it's one of those things where I think this is one of the more versatile classes because you can do you can, you can do some weird builds. Like, you can have, like, some summons and then you have uh, uh, your melee attacks or something. That's kind of interesting to do. Uh, or you could just kind of go like all balls to the wall and just kind of go like like go like a defensive tanky This is actually makes a really good tank if you're that kind of guy uh, Better so than Marauder I would say Marauder uh, This guy has like as I said energy like two health pools to basically two defensive pools to basically mind you that Neither of the defensive pools would never be like you won't get as much energy shield uh, than you would as a witch uh, or you won't get as much armor than you would as a uh, as a as a, sorry, uh, an armor as a marauder, but you'll still do fine. Like it's it's actually a lot of fun. Yeah, I just want to I want to get out of these areas. And once again, I'm uh, I'm uh, kind of uh, without the summons or anything to like. I kind of have to face tank everything. Although in this in this in this mode, it's really not much of a, a problem because I have. The power of uh, the shield. The shield is something you actually haven't seen me use yet. Uh, none of my characters have had it. I've, I've been face tanking everything with most of my characters. Uh, the shield itself uh, doesn't actually block elemental damage, although this kind of shields my characters. There's like many kinds of shields. Uh, and this kind uh, actually does a chance to block an armor, so this is not actually the one he's supposed to use. But um, there's basically like a multiple kinds of shields and... Uh, ooh, a vine circulate. This will give me more energy shield. So I'm, I'm kind of favoring the energy shield a bit more, because uh, the way that one works is if I'm out of combat, it regenerates. And I like that. It's, you know, you can't go wrong with regenerating health, I suppose. Except uh, when it's in a first-person shooter. But that, that's a story for another time. Alright, and let's see what we got. We got a Coral Amulet, which is probably better than whatever I'm using here, which is Mana, mana Regen. And with that, we're going to go get another level up. Uh, we're, we are sticking with one-handed weapons for now. Um, I don't see a reason to change that. Uh, as I said, I'm going to go for mostly uh, weapon, well, weapon Elemental. So physical damage kind of stacks on, on top of that, which is really nice. Uh, and I can I can easily bridge myself into a bit of area damage if I need to. Yeah, let's just, let's go let's go find the boss. Here he is. All right. Uh, unfortunately, I've uh, awoken the uh, the horde here. Look, I could just do this all day, and hopefully not get desynced and die like horribly in a horrible fashion. Because whenever you see a lot of people like this, yeah, you, you start to get worried. And we got some level ups. Hey, don't hit me. He's being mean. What's his name? Masier or something? Oh no, no, don't, don't walk into them. Thank you. Okay, and with that, we'll just go get this guy now. To kind of just run around the archers a little bit. It's an easy boss to get, and, and I'll freeze him occasionally, which is actually really good. 
We actually got a yellow yellow sash here, which is going to be actually excellent for our, our character. Like if I, if I was going more of an energy shield build, I probably wouldn't care so much about that, uh, but I think I do. Check out that. More life and more physical damage. And that uh, that will probably do a healthy boost, boost to our DPS here. And with that, we have our two choices of... Uh, we will get... Uh, I'm going to actually get the Curious Chest. Because that is a Ground Slam, which is a nice actually ability. Uh, it's actually, once again, it's physical. Uh, elemental physical, which is... Um, it'll just like stun shit and whatever. Uh, except I have no slots to put this on, so I can't actually use it right now. I'd have to give up uh, Glacial Hammer. So we'll keep an eye out for a socket that will, that will actually hold that. Now I can actually take out sockets and put them in at my own free will, so it really doesn't matter. I don't know if you've witnessed me doing that before, but they're not, they are unlike sockets in um, other I'm ARPGs that you may be aware of. And Go this guy, God. okay, I, I, I apparently yelled at him for some reason. Uh, this is a better maze, however I can't use it until next level, so whatever. And we'll just kill this Sin Master here. Uh oh. Not exactly the kind of situation I want to be in right now. But luckily I'm freezing them all. I'll just continue freezing. Yeah, they're blue Roas, like every single time. It's always a Roa. They are the bane of my existence. And I leveled up at probably the perfect time. Okay, well now they can go just fuck off. And uh, we're going to continue to do melee physical, which doesn't appear to really affect uh, Glacial Hammer there. I'm wondering why. Some of your physical damage is converted to cold damage. Maybe it's just not accurate? I don't know. And we get Scale Vest, which is, uh, I don't know. No. That's, that's armor and evasion. If I had that on my duelist, I probably would be ecstatic right now to have that and happy to have it on board. But uh, we're not we're not rolling that. And what's with all these blues? Nobody truly knows. Oh, chest plate. There you go. So uh, there's a chest plate, and that's actually pretty good for me because uh, I'm I'm totally on board with that because uh, that is pure armor, and pure armor is okay by me. Um, and that will require another level and uh, some more strength. And just so happens, I think my next, uh, my main uh, one-hander node is going to actually have... By, by the way, the only reason I'm still actually here is because I keep running into these, these blue guys. They give, they'll give me a fair bit of actually uh, experience, and I'm gonna start starting to want to skip this stuff. So let's let's actually go all the way to the top. Uh, actually, this is a terrible idea. I mean, I can just kind of run into the middle of these guys, and let's go let's go beside this guy. So we're actually doing damage to the main. He's gonna res them as I, uh... There we go. You know, I have to say that that Ice Nova is really powerful. Kind of regretting I didn't go into uh, area damage. It probably actually would have been a f fine idea. I appear to be doing way more with that than anything else. And my first uh, life loss of the day. It's not that I, I don't want li like life flasks, My but I, I I have like a mix of energy shield and life, which actually makes you a much more versatile class in my opinion. I I'm, I, I approve of it greatly. Uh, I don't really want Rose around following us. Okay, let's get the hell out of here. Oh, it's always something. This game and a blue. I'm also still kind of trying to level up my stuff. Okay, so next chest here. Uh, we will want... Uh, I'm going to actually take the Curious Chest, uh, which is the thing I don't do. This gives me a better Scepter, as well as some shield uh, options here. So that's whatever this... Uh, it gives me a branch. Uh, well, I can put... Um, I can get a better armor piece at least. And as for the scepter, I'm just going to have to deal with that. 
and there you go. Uh, this is not really fantastic, but you know, you know what? Let's just uh, let's go upgrade this. Uh, there you go. One to five fire damage is good for elemental, and this is gonna be better than nothing for quicksilver. So, you know, I'm I'm pretty happy with that. You no, know, I can't run. I can't go fast anymore. And then we meet our good friend Sawbones. Hello. With his Roa army of the damned. But we'll just, we're kind of just gonna hump around here and uh, abuse this uh, fantastic ability we have here. You know, I have to say, I'm, I'm wrecking shit more faster than I actually thought I would be. Yeah, I'm as surprised as you are. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. Into the whatever tomb this is. I wonder where I am right now, actually, in comparison with, uh, this is monster level 7 and I'm level 5. Okay. So I'm actually probably right where I want to be, because if you're, like, about two levels ahead, you won't gain any kind of, like, uh, experience disadvantages kind of thing. So I'm just going to kind of hump these guys. Now, th their shields actually won't blow up, because I'm not actually doing direct physical damage. It only does it on direct physical damage, which is really nice for me. And this is actually the kind of, uh... Uh, energy shield and armor that I'm supposed to use uh, But I may actually skip out on that. So let's go use this and here we go We get 20 to strength, which is really nice for my DPS and then uh, I can either choose to get more uh, Let's get flat out Armor, I'm actually good with that. So fuck this thing. Fuck this thing. Fuck this thing Start dropping shit and with that we'll actually get now our new ability, which is a uh, this thing. Bam. I love it. So now I can just like open up urns this way. Wrap Mets is uh, evasion energy shield. Nope. We don't want that. That's for the final character which you will all you guys will all enjoy. So this one, I, I basically kind of just smash the ground and uh My mana is spent. I, I appear to be I seem to be attacking faster now. Mmm, spear iron greaves, we will skip out on those because they're not really that great. And Ground Slam already leveled up. Nice. Now, the way the way the gems work is they level up based upon... They basically have their own little experience system, so that's kind of nice. Okay, let's kind of just run past this all. And now that we have a nice horde of them coming in... I should go kill them. All they did was they got rid of my energy shield. Doesn't really cost me a health potion when they do this. So it's actually probably it's okay to run uh, only two health potions because you won't really need to use it. Plus, I think I have some health regeneration, so I think we're okay. I think I should do that more often. I should just try and get like a large group of them together and then attack. Where the hell are we supposed to go to there? Oh, are you joking? It's it's. I think it's like over there. Let's get up here. Uh. Okay, we're just gonna face tank whatever he throws at us. We're also freezing him, so he's not able to cast anything, which is good. And they didn't actually even bother to cast a little shield thing, which is I'm, I'm really happy about. Because uh, I'm, I'm, I'm like one hitting them left and right. And that would do a crap ton of damage. Oh, you want to use your thing? Okay, well I got this ability. And you know what? Uh, the really nice thing is I have an accuracy node like right beside where I'm currently at. And I think there's a hero in there. But we'll get this orb of ultimate. Oh god. He's, he's gonna make everything faster around him. Probably want to take that fucker out first. There we go. I have no, I have no want for speed right now. Thank you. And that scepter sucks. All right, and some more, some more ground slam to go with that. The amber amulet I'm gonna keep around just in case I have something with a high strength requirement because it gives me 21 to strength if I if I need it. And it's just in like amy form, so I just keep in my inventory until then. Uh oh, let's get out of here. All right. Uh, let's go. Just get these. Yeah, they're like casting like novas and shit on me, 
Or wait, is that... Oh, no, I don't think she's here yet. I certainly hope she's not. I would have noticed it by then. Okay, we got that guy. Alright, and let's see if... Uh, I don't know. I thought this is uh, where that ice person is. Uh, whatever, whoever keeps uh, killing everybody so early on. 